Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Longchamp Racecourse here on Thursday. It is the 26th of May, 2022. Going to look at the group races, the stakes races on the program from Longchamp. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for racecourses around the world. Let's look at the stakes action from Paris Longchamp races 5 and 8. The fifth race, it is the Group 2, group two Pre de Hill Quart Stakes. It's Group 2 event going for a purse of 147 thousand five hundred dollars race for three-year-olds here five of them are going 2200 meters or a mile three eights on the turf course i'm going to take the one horse le astronom as a top selection we'll go 142 in the tri cash trifecta 142 tri cash trifecta top selection one horse le astronom this three-year-old colt by frankel christoph Sumian's on this one he's four to five here his most recent appearance came the 28th of april at patty longchamp a mile three eights in a three-year-old condition race and he won by a half a length, and he had the speed from the inside. He tracked, he slowly moved his way up, he quickened up nice on the front end, and he kept going on the good ground. An all-around good race for him the first start uh, back here since the uh, autumn. Come back here off some decent runs. I think he's really on the improve, and he's run the best numbers out of anybody here today. Two back on the 8th of, uh, excuse me, 6th of April, Ashanti, uh, a mile and a quarter in a 3 0 main race. He won by a nose, and he was all out that day. He nearly he got the victory, but he has to be used a lot. First off the bench, he definitely need the race there. And then his 2 year old uh, debut came on the 17th of October here at Longshop over the 1800 or a mile eighth in a 3 year old main race. He finished second by two lengths. He just had a little 2 year old antics. The winner was much the best, but this horse just kind of distracted and, and was, uh, you know, was excelling, but could have sold it a little bit more. Uh, but he's really improved with every single race. Coming here today at four to five, he's a very likely winner. If there could be a, 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 a upsetter here, the four horse Garashino or Gar Chico um, could possibly upset for Gilles Massé, but he would have to run his AAA plus race. He's only run a B plus race so far um you know and that was the uh the winner at avery uh back in uh in september after that he, he ran okay in some spots and then crap in other spots but if a second likeliest winner to a longer trip i, I would give him a shot but le astronom is your likeliest winner but to recap my selection for the fifth from petty longchamp it's to group two pretty hard quart let's take the one horse le astronom let's go one four two in the tri cash trifecta the featured eighth races for the stayers it is the group two pre vocum tessi vigier stakes it's a group two event going for a purse of $147,500. Race for four-year-olds and upwards. Nine horses are going 3,000 meters or a mile seven-eighths on the turf course. Let's take as a top selection here the four horse, the good man. Let's go four seven in your forecast exacta. Four seven forecast exacta. Top selection of four horse, the good man. Five year old horse by Manduro. The old Bachelet's on this one for Stefan Vatel. The horse's most recent nine came the group three, Pre de Barbeel at Longchamp. Mile seven eighths on the first of May. And the horse went by three quarters length and just took the easiest way around on the inside. He slowly moved his way up and got the job very nicely back to group quality horses. Coming here at Long trip again which i think he's been crying out for all last season he should really improve again two back in the listed six is on clue over the mile and a half 24th of march first off the bench he definitely needed the race finished third by eight and a quarter lengths it took him time to get going it was a little bit too late but he was staying the trip well and then a long shot on the 17th of october a mile three eights in the group two pre to conceal the pally the uh, horse finished third by one quarter lengths and again he he quickened up a little bit but just a little bit too lady but he, he got around the race course well and then before then the grand prix to dovio let dovio a mile i 16th on the um, 29th of August, excuse me, just chugged that uh, Perrier before I started this video, I shouldn't have, because the uh, the bubbles didn't want to, you know, interfere with me, but um, he, he finished second by two, uh, three quarters length by Glycone in the uh, Grand Prix de Paris, where again, he's just coming a little bit too late, but I like him a lot with a good poster, back to his staying trip, like I said, he's been crying out for last season, at two to one, let's take him, the seven horse, uh, Joey de Soir, I think is your second leg of this winner, had a decent third in the Prix de Barville a few weeks ago, it was a little bit wide, but got down the race course well, um, you know, some of the races last fall uh, or last summer could definitely win against these horses. The Philly taking on the uh, the Colts. Watch out for this one also. But to recount my selection for the eighth from Patty Longchamp, Scoop Two, Pre Volcom Tessie Vigier. Let's take the four horse, the good man. Give kudos to the seven horse Joy de Soa. Uh, four seven, four cast exacta. Let's use them both in your place pod. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck, everybody.